up. Oh, hello. So we're pretty excited about the Jurassic Park movie. But, um... Yeah. Are you excited about it, Amanda? I'm excited about it. But you already know what's going to happen. Like, I'd rather just see a whole movie, like a 90-minute movie, of Jurassic Park. Like, I don't need to see dudes getting eaten by dinosaurs, because that's totally far-fetched, because dinosaurs aren't going to eat people, because there's no dinosaurs. So I'd rather just see a whole movie about Jurassic Park, like Disneyland with dinosaurs. Like, so, the first 15 minutes of the movie, I'd rather see 90 minutes of that. You think they'll still work? Think, uh, so it's the rework. You think they'll have a Spaz 12 shotgun in there like they did in the original? That's true, I don't know. Like, do you think Schwarzenegger they, so would be in there, there is, like he was in the first one? It's, uh, what's that dude's name? Damn it. Famous actor. Anyway, he's the, the tough guy in the movie that has, like, a... So called Steve Austin? A special forces squadron that goes to handle the dinosaurs. And they get eaten, by the way. And I think they, I think they get their ass kicked. They have multi-camp black in there. Or I Chris think it's Cryptek. Yes. Cryptek, yeah. yeah. I'm actually excited to see people get eaten by dinosaurs again. It's been a long time. I'm excited about it. Like, people get eaten by dinosaurs down where that was adopted from all the time because there's still dinosaurs down there. Yes, yeah, long ass. Yeah, but... So, uh, is it a horror movie? I don't think so. I think it's a, an like, action, a movie? action drama, probably. Did you ever see Ice Spiders? That was a really good movie. Are you... Are you, you ever seen Ice Spiders? No. <laughs> it's like Jurassic Park, but in the snow in a ski resort with giant spiders. Genetically engineered spiders, you know, like Jurassic Park is. Except so, with dinosaurs. So no ice spiders. No ice spiders. Oh, okay, here's a good one for you. Have you seen Troll Hunter? Yeah, I liked it. That was a fucking great movie. Really? Like you saw it? Yeah. Are you lying right yeah, now? Yeah, I've seen every B-rated movie. Have you really seen it? Yes. He's I also seen the zombie strippers movie. I thought... Fucking the, zombie strippers was good. I thought That's the one of the movie first movie. movies I remember watching, like, when Cody and I sat down and Cody got to see some movies. It was zombie strippers. Wasn't that Pamela Anderson? Cody, do you remember? It was in the team room, I do remember. Yeah. Did you see? I only got to see like half of the movie. You mean you only got to see half the boob? Half and the I'll boob. tell you, having seen Pamela Lee, Pamela Anderson, sorry, Pamela Anderson's boobs in real life, the movie doesn't do it justice. I'm just saying. That's Tommy. <laughs> I wonder why that car is parked out in the grass. It's big strider remind you of a rock star. Yes. Kind of, I guess. Could, could he body double for Tommy Lee? Maybe not Tommy Lee, but he does kind of like... Think he could play some drums upside down? Maybe. Or like... I bet he could make some drums. He could play some guitar over one of those vents. Big or make me a drum kit. Over those vents, you know, that blows your hair everywhere while you're playing? And has like the smoke? So that I can see that. motherfucker made a motorcycle. Not like bought some pieces and put one together. Yeah, like made some pieces and, and made, put one together. Made the metal, like fucking made a motorcycle. Big Strider... I don't want a knife from you, but I do want... Because I have all of your knives, every one of them. Like, literally every knife you've ever made, I own it. It's all in my safes at the shop. Nobody has a Mixed Rider custom because I have all of them. But I do want a Mixed Rider drum kit. It's not it's not a reasonable thing. Like, it would not surprise me if we found I'll, out. I, I think you, I'm, sure you could, I'm sure you could make one, like, without a problem. And I want it with human skin for the tops. Well, that's how the cannibals did it. That's They're true, bro. Right? Cooking you and pounding the drums, they were using skins from yeah, skins from the old people that they found. Yeah. So do different skins make different sounds? Yes, yes they do. So I'm told. Saw it maybe once. We don't have. Was she a great big fan of our person? Drinking my, uh, I got two scoops of 187 and two scoops of VO2. The VO2 basically just opens you up so that it will. <laughs> And absorb everything. I forgot the fucking creatine again. And he's all jacked up on Mountain Dew. <laughs> no, I'm not even jacked up. Uh-huh. Got some creatine in it. How come rappers always sing about creatine? I don't like, know. Like Little Wayne talks about it. Is, I is there, don't know. Is there something else out there, like chrome juice that they call that's creatine? What, that's what I'm guessing. Is there some kind of other thing? When I heard it, you know, you played it a few times in that thing because it makes well, sure. Lenny Cooper talks about That's what he was talking about, but I was like, I don't understand. Is there, there's going to be some, like, it's another, it, creatine is code word for fucking promethazine. Yeah, like, I've never, I've never heard of there being another use for the chemical than, like, not getting messed up. 
somebody that knows the answer. Uh, Tank Sherman. Yep. Give me the answer to this. Any of your rapper buddies uh, use the creatine for purposes other than the gym? Is it mostly a black thing? Because I hear crackers say it too. Yep. <laughs> Tank Sherman, you might, you might or might not be impressed. I own a pair of Versace shoes now. Real ones. Yeah. Yeah, you might not. I don't know if you dabble in such things. If you come down, you can go to the Versace store with us. It's true. When we're eating crab out in Malibu and Nobu. We'll be in Vegas. You should come to Vegas, Tank Sherman. Yeah, he lives at West, I think, right? He lives in Colorado. Yeah. That's relatively close. Aurora, Colorado, I believe. I think you did say That's that. What he says. Yeah, I think you did say that. I know Which, a lot about Tank Sherman. Like, I believe him to be a uh, skinny white guy. What if we find out Tank Sherman is really Sherman House? I don't think, I just don't, I don't think it happened. I don't think Sherman would ever say those things. He's too good at, like, well, he might. he's a dentist, you know? Dentists don't do that. Have you met Sherman? Have you ever yeah. seen Sherman shoot? Yeah, but yeah, but he doesn't talk like that either. Like though. Hood, like yeah, the thing is, Tank Sherman doesn't talk like that either. <laughs> well, he does sometimes. I bet he's a periodontist. What is that? I have no idea. Is that a tooth cleaner? Periodontist is the one that does the cleaning. Tooth cleaner? Yeah. I like this. I like to think of my tooth fairy as uh, the rock. In the blue too, too. Yeah, that motherfucker's huge right now. Did you see him? I haven't seen him lately. So he's he's big, like he's a big human being. Yeah, he's six seven. But for this TV show they got on HBO, Ballers. I think so. Ballers. I think. That's oh yeah, he he's does have an TV show. Yeah, I forgot he's about fucking that. Fucking huge, like bigger than I've ever seen. Yeah, before. he's a big boy. I mean. If I got paid 24 hours a day, 365 days a year to look how they told me to look for a promotional thing, I'd probably do it too. That's all That's all actors do. I'd like you to be a little bigger when we're in the booth. I mean, yeah, if I could just only do that. Can we paint you gold? If it, so that, like, that's what uh, the bunch of the dudes on at the Sweeney thing, they used to call me the human statue because... I looked like the little awards you get for your bodybuilding shows. They're little bronze uh, statues. I thought you were going to say you looked like the lady that poses in the Venetian and stands really still. Uh-huh. No, no. I didn't look like a lady. I was beautiful lady. like a lady, but not a lady. It's funny. Every time somebody talks on one of these videos about me that doesn't like me, they always they automatically don't like you. Yeah, that's fine. It's, I, I care for the general public so little, it affects me so... It's, it's not even a thing for me. We should do like a Homer Simpson where when we're standing in a booth and there's somebody there we don't like, you just talk out, do I just say that? <laughs> don't. We just have every every hour you come by the booth and for 10 minutes we'll tell you exactly what we think. <laughs> and the thing is, uh, I really don't, a huge crowd. I don't think really bad stuff about most of people. Just if people don't like me, I'm just, I'm so okay with it that it seems like I'm an ass. But really... It's the fact that they don't like me. It just doesn't really just has no involvement in my satisfaction of life at all. I think that it makes me happier that, that people don't like me. They have happiness <laughs> not like us. I get more enjoy more entertainment, I guess. More entertainment out of that than dudes that do like us. Yeah. Those guys aren't fun. They just come by and give us money and fucking walk away and take some pictures. The dudes that don't like us though. Like, we get to interact with them for fucking months. I'm so on my, I have on my Hank Greenberg shirt. For you guys that don't know, Hank Greenberg, he owns uh, Microtech Knives. No, oh. Marfiona owns Microtech. Tony be calling Hank in the office soon. So <laughs> yeah. Hank, come here. You think he has a, a button on his desk? Hank Greenberg? Hank Greenberg. That'd be cool. Have a little headset. I'd like to like go. Like a secret service. Like, uh, I would actually... All the places we get invited and shit, I would like to see Microtech. Like I'd like to see. I mean, it's awesome. I'd like to follow Tony around for a couple or a day. Yeah, just see what it just, is. It's gotta not, be a not big... like a normal day because most of us we don't do Where's, shit on a normal where day. Are Tony, they? Tony, I think he's in New York. Tony's like us. We just kind of hang out with Jaeger on a boat and shit. And don't really work. But sometimes, sometimes we actually work. And I'll bet five, six days out of the year, Tony actually makes something. 
I'd like to follow Tony around on that day. Like, I think that dude is like a fucking mad scientist. Like, I look at Tony Marfione, I don't know a lot about him and shit, but his, his work is very fucking... Those new ones are intense. Dude, he stepped that shit up. Like, I wasn't really looking, and I don't know what he was doing before, because I wasn't looking in that direction, but because we were there because of Hank, when Hank was flipping that knife around at the USN show last year, and he's like, just a touch of class. Yeah. Like, I had to have that fucking piece, and that got me over there looking in that direction and talking to Tony, and I look at that dude, and I think that dude is like fucking Iron Man. Yeah, he, well, he's done some cool shit, especially I'll in the past year. I bet he's got a basement where he has fucking, he just moves shit around on his screen. Does he fly around in the boots? He, around he hasn't made the rest of the suit yet. He kind of looks it's like... It's just the boot. Yeah, well, no, I bet he's got both pairs of boots. <laughs> no, Tony, Tony's cool, man. I, we don't hang out a lot. I haven't fucking spoken to him a lot, but the little I have, like... Yeah, he's been good. He's growing on me. <laughs> just like Jody grew on Philip. Turn that shit off. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go get the... 